Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. So for today's video, I'm doing a bit of a different one because I asked you guys what videos you want to see on my channel and quite a few of you said that you would like to see my sort of workout routine. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to say that I don't have like a particular sort of routine that I follow every single day or anything like that. I try and work out twice a week, but I'm gonna be honest and say that that doesn't always happen. Um, but I thought I would just show you like, sort of generally what I do when I do work out. But like I say, it's not the exact same every time. Sometimes I actually can't be bothered and I'll do like a five minute workout. Other times I'll have lots of energy and do like a half an hour workout. It really just sort of depends. But I thought I would just work out today and sort of give you an idea of what I do. So this video is going to involve a lot of exercising so if that sort of thing triggers you then please don't feel the need to watch it, you can click off. Um, but yeah, if you do want to continue watching then I hope you enjoy and let's just get into it. So first of all this is the yoga mat that I use and I always get a lot of questions on where I got this from. So I actually got it from Amazon and if I remember I will try and leave a link down below. Okay, so first of all, I start off by doing some squat jumps and I roughly did about 20 of these um, on this particular day. But like I say, I don't have a particular amount that I have to do each day or every time I work out. It's just sort of what I can manage and what I feel like doing. And next I go on to do some jumping jacks. And again, I do about 20 to 30 of these probably more like 30 just because I find these um, easier and they get the blood pumping and the heart going after that I move on to butt kicks and I roughly do this for about 30 seconds And then on to high knees, but as you can see, my knees don't go very high. I literally look like a dinosaur doing this. I cannot do these to save my life. After that, I did the plank and I did this for about 30 seconds. I could actually go for longer. I know that for a fact, but I just couldn't be bothered this day. It is really tough. And then I went on to do the up and down plank, which is just oh my gosh it's painful it's really difficult and um yeah you definitely need some core strength for that um so i try and do about 10 to 12 reps of that the key word being try because as you just saw there i had to take a break and take a little stretch because it is really tough and then on to crunches but i like to pause at the top for like two seconds i just really feel like it targets the abs better if i pause at the top and i really like feel it working and I roughly do about 20 reps of these but it could be more some days it could be less it just depends uh, how motivated I am and if I'm struggling or not this next exercise is one of my favorite exercises it's called the glute bridge and I'm not too sure why I love it but I just really enjoy doing it um, and again it really targets your abs but also your bum and your legs as well um, so it's a really good exercise so I do about 20 of those um, but I actually really enjoy that one so sometimes I do more um, than 20. And then on to bicycle crunches, which again is another exercise that I actually really enjoy doing. So I try and do that for about 50 seconds or maybe even like a minute. And then on to mountain climbers, which I actually find quite tough. You can really, again, feel this in your abs. So it does work really well, um, but I have to normally take a break um in between i try and do it for about a minute um but sometimes my back gets sore but looking back on this i can see why it's because my posture is so bad so i definitely need to work on that and then it won't hurt as much and then on to alternative heel touches um which really targets the obliques um so i just touch my heels alternating between each one and again this is a great ab workout you will definitely really feel this in your core 
Next up, I like to do some exercises which focus on the legs because the previous ones focused on the abs. So I do 10 of these um, side leg raises. So as you saw the first 10, I pointed my toes and then I do 10 more, but um, sort of flexing my feet so that my toes are pointing forward. So it's 10 leg raises where your toes are pointed and then 10 where your feet are flexed. And then onto this one, which I don't actually know the name of, but I just draw my knee in towards my chest, I guess. Um, and I do about 10 reps of those. And then for the next exercise, I just make circular shapes with my leg and sort of raise it. Um, so I do 10 in one direction and then I change direction and do 10 the other way. And then onto the other leg, I just repeat those three exercises on the opposite leg. So again, you can see there the toes were pointed and now the feet are flexed. And then I'm just drawing that knee in towards my chest, which also works the abs as well as your legs. And then it's just onto that circle one. And I like to hold my hip for support because it kind of hurts there. And then coming down onto my hands and knees, I do these bent leg raises. So I do 10 of those. Um, so just focusing on one leg at a time and then I do 10 donkey kicks. So you're just raising your leg up there. And again, working the legs and the booty. And then I just do that again. So 10 out to the side, and then 10 kicking up the way. And then I just do the same again on the other leg. So 10 bent leg side raises, and then the 10 donkey kicks. And then just repeat that again, do another set of those. This is another one of my favorite exercises. I have no idea what it's called, but you just lie on the floor and stick your legs up in the air and just open and close them as wide as you possibly can. And this really works the inner thigh. So I do about 20 reps of these. Okay, so I've just finished doing my workout. Look at the mess of me. But um, yeah, that was probably about a 15 minute workout, I'd say. But like, I do stop in between. I'm not one of those people that, well, I do push myself, but if I'm in pain, like you probably would see me stop quite a few times throughout that um, workout. Sometimes I get a sore back when I'm working out, so I just don't want to push myself and then like injure myself. So I just like stop and do a couple of stretches until my back's feeling better. Um, that's the only thing about like doing floor workouts. I get a bit of a sore back sometimes. So if any of you guys get that, let me know if there's anything you do to sort of help that. Um, or if there's like any sort of stretches you should do. I'm actually gonna do my cool down stretches. I actually just forgot that just reminded me um, and I better stretch because if not, then I'm just gonna be in agony tomorrow. But yeah, I'm feeling good after doing that workout. I'm so glad that I just got up and did it. I always find that that's the way, like when I get up in the morning, sometimes I can't be bothered doing it, but once I do it, I'm so glad that I have done it because you honestly feel so good after exercising. So it's quite a bit later in the day now and I've just come over to my mum's to use this little room in our house which has been turned into a gym. This actually used to be my bedroom but my brother sort of just put all of his fitness equipment in it and like all his weights and stuff. So when I used to live back at home, he used to have all of this stuff out in the shed and during the first lockdown, I really got into exercising with him and we'd both go out to his shed and he'd like teach me how to use weights and stuff and lift them and sort of just build up my strength. I will admit I have sort of slacked off recently, but I've been trying to sort of get back into it. So this is a little overview of the room and what's in it. Um, so first of all, my brother does boxing, so he's got this like punch bag thing. Again, I don't know the names of stuff, um, but I'll just show you it. I don't like boxing. I've tried to do it, like Daniel tried to teach me how to do it, but it's just, it's not for me. Um, and then he's got this bench over here, which is for weightlifting. So he's got all the different weights here and then this big bar that sits 
there. I don't know the names of stuff like oh, bicep curls and all like that. My brother tells me that and I'm just like, I'm just gonna lift this weight like this. So again, this isn't gonna be a technical video. I'm not gonna tell you what exactly I do. I'm just gonna show you because I don't know the names of stuff. Um, but yeah, I use this quite a lot and just pop it on here and then you sort of lie down and lift it up. Um, and then you can use this to sort of like rest your arm on when you're doing those kind of ones because I don't know the names of it. And then over here we have a fitness bike which is quite a new addition to this room. So this was actually very kindly gifted to me um, by 12fit. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box to their website and their like Amazon store because they do lots of different fitness equipment like exercise bikes and treadmills and things like that so I will leave that linked in the description box so I just wanted to thank them so much for gifting me this because I have honestly always wanted one of these so I was very excited when they sent this to me and I thought it was just perfect seeing as Daniel has just like done up this room and made it into a sort of gym like place um so my brother absolutely loves it if I had a two bed flat I would have kept this obviously at my place but I just didn't have the room for it like it is good because it comes on these wheels at the front um so you can just sort of lift it from behind and then just roll it and store it away um so it is good if you have a small flat but you have like the storage for it but my flat it just doesn't have the storage for it like all our cupboard space is taken up and stuff so we could fit it in our flat but like sort of have it against the wall because it is easy to move but I just thought it would look better here and there's just more room here um and yeah it's gonna get more use here because everyone can use it here like my dad and stuff um and then i can just come over and use it which is it just makes more sense so my brother very kindly put this all together for me but he said it was very easy to do um my review of it would be that it's very sturdy um like look at that it's not going anywhere it's really good quality i love it so much the seat i would say is really comfortable um and my favorite part about it is this bit here so you can actually pop your phone here which i absolutely love because then you can sit and just like watch youtube videos or something whilst you're cycling which i absolutely love or you can listen to music i just think that is so handy because i am one of those people that when i'm exercising i do so much better if i'm listening to music or watching something um so it's a great way to exercise whilst you're just like watching a youtube video it's like just pop a youtube video on and just get your legs moving and cycling um so yeah I love that feature and this little button here so it actually tells you like what speed you're going the distance you've gone the calories you've burnt things like that so that's really handy as well and um, so you can sort of flick through that menu to see that and this is also really good as well so you can adjust this so when you pop your feet in you can adjust this so that your feet aren't falling out um, so then obviously you can actually build up speed and not have to worry about your feet coming out like flying out and then you like I don't know injuring yourself it's just a much safer feature that that tightens and then you just know your feet are secure and you can cycle and pedal as fast as you want and your feet just aren't going anywhere so you can completely control the level of difficulty on this bike so if you want it to be quite an easy pedal then you can loosen it but if you want to push yourself then you can tighten it here and then it will sort of sort of be like you're pedaling up a hill like you'll really have to sort of push yourself um so you can adjust that um to suit whatever you want so i quite like to tighten it so that um i really actually have to like push myself and use my leg muscles and it really is like you're pedaling up a hill. You can really feel it in your legs and you can feel your leg muscles working which is what you want um, so that's why I like to tighten it but like I say you can completely adjust it which I really like as well. So like I said it's really easy to assemble, the quality is amazing, it's so sturdy um, but it's also really easy to move and I think it's just because of those wheels like I really like that feature on it so it's uh, very portable and just easy to sort of store away um so yeah it's definitely a great idea if you are someone that doesn't want to go to the gym or like can't afford a gym membership because i've been saying for ages that i would love to go to a gym but i just don't think i would go enough for it to be worth the money or even if i did i just still think it's very expensive so i really like the idea of like creating your own home gym um so yeah things like this are really perfect if you want to 
um, exercise at home or just like in front of the TV. I just think that's such a good idea. Um, or just in front of your little phone with that little holder. So definitely check out one Two fit if you're after some good quality fitness equipment like this exercise bike. Like I said, I will leave their website linked in the description box and I will also leave a discount code that they very kindly gave to me to give to you guys. Um, I will leave that in the description box as well so that you guys can get money off your order if you do decide to buy an exercise bike or a treadmill or any of their other fitness equipment. But anyways, enough talking and let's actually get exercising. Okay, so I'm just scrapping my feet in, just making sure that they're nice and secure. And then, like I say, it's not gonna be like a very structured workout. I'm just gonna pop some music on, just cause that really helps me. Um, and then just see what I can do. Um, so I'm just gonna reset this back to zero so that it can um, record my speed, my distance, my calories, all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop some music on and let's do it this is just so much fun i will pop on music for the first part just so like i can show you guys what i'm doing um but i really love cycling like cycling is something i really enjoy um so i think it's so cool that you can now do it indoors um like i say you can just go whatever pace you want um but it's gonna record it here and then you can get up if you want to work the butt <laughs> There's actually loads of videos on YouTube that you can follow of like actual exercises that you can do when you're on these bikes um, to sort of like target different areas of the body. Um, I'm not very good at talking while I'm doing this, but yeah, you kind of get the picture. <laughs> I'm absolutely roasting after being on the exercise bike. I was on there for about half an hour. I actually probably could do more, so I think I might go back to it after I weight lift for a bit, but I just like to sort of jump back and forth um, between the two. So as for weightlifting, I actually only lift 10 kilograms because I am very weak. I actually can do 15, but it's a bit of a struggle and sometimes I hurt my back. So I just think it's better just to stick to 10. Um, so I'll see how that goes today. And then if I feel like I can do um, a couple reps, is that what you call them? Um, of 15 kilograms and I might do that, but I'm just gonna start off with 10 kilograms and I'm gonna do the one where I lie down and lift it up like this. I will find out the actual names of all the stuff and then like put it on screen, but I just, like I say, I don't know the terms for weightlifting and exercising and stuff like that. I don't really know much, um, but yeah, I will film what I do. of those bench presses I think they're called but I could be wrong and like I said I used a 10 kilogram weight and now I'm going on to use this weight which is actually only five kilograms but I find that that's heavy enough for me just because you're only using one arm so uh, obviously I can hold more on that one because I'm using both arms but when I do this exercise which again I'm not sure of the name of um, you're only using the one arm so I find that the five kilograms is enough for me um, so again, I do about 10 of those on each arm. If I can do more, I do more, um, but normally just about 10.
So I hope this video gave you guys an idea of what my workout routine is. Like I say, it's not really a routine, it's just what I feel like doing. Um, but this is just an example of what I got up to today workout wise. Um, I definitely want to keep on building my strength with the weights and stuff and yeah, don't look at this video as a professional video as like this is how you weightlift and stuff. I'm probably doing it all wrong um, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing so don't like quote me on it and think that what I'm doing is right or the correct techniques and stuff. It probably isn't. Thank you so much again to 1-2-Fit for gifting me this incredible exercise bike. I love it so much and it's definitely gonna get me moving more. Um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very very soon for another one. Bye!